hard hard to make it more challenging than pulling a 375 pound sled solo a thousand miles across antarctica <laughs> that definitely tested my physical limits and what was the most difficult about that was what i was doing was unsupported so no resupplies of food or fuel and that's why my sled was so heavy it was full of food but i was on a 3000 calorie deficit from day one so i was burning 10,000 plus calories and then 7,000 was the most i could carry in my sled per day and still get to the end and i got to the end of my last bite of food so wow. it, pulling that it 54 days 54 days alone um in antarctica and people had tried this before me a guy had died after 71 days a couple years before me he didn't make it to the end somebody ran out of food and had to get evacuated so it, it's right on the edge of the sort of physical limits of like literally not enough food or calories in your body to have the expenditure in this harsh place of antarctica that's you know trying to kill you with its minus 40 degree temperatures and all this so physically of course that was a, a deep cut mentally uh a, a, as well and has formed a lot of my mental resilience um and and formed a lot of stuff but i would know the one that gets me mentally again it's so hard to pick from all these things but the rowboat drake passage 28 foot rowboat 40 foot swells the roughest ocean in the world open hole um we're rowing in this me and my teammates were rowing in a sequence of 90 minutes on 90 minutes off because we have to keep the boat in perpetual motion you can't just stop you'll like fly backwards with so much currents and, and storms in this in this ocean 750 mile channel and we're soaking wet. The ocean is actually freezing. It's 32 degrees Fahrenheit, but the salt water makes it till it doesn't freeze, but there's icebergs in the water. And so the waves are crashing us in the face. And how, after so many days, you're sleep deprived, you're wet, you're cold. And that sounds physical, that's emotional, man. Like that is the mental breaking point. There's a reason why, you know, water torture is a thing and sleep deprived deprivation is what they do to torture you, the prison camp or whatever. Um, and so that that definitely put, put the limits on the, the, the mental for sure so um yeah man